Welcome to SMU. Hi, my name is Chelsea McHenry. Nice to meet you. I'm so excited that I got into SMU. Let's have a seat. You sit there. If you come to SMU, you'll get an amazing job at a big firm with a high salary while living in the best city in Texas. Dallas is the number two best city for young attorneys. That sounds awesome, but what about everything I'm seeing online that says graduating attorneys are struggling to find work? Have no fear at all, because SMU Law is number one in Texas at placing class of 2014 students in full-time, long-term, bar passage required, and JD Advantage jobs without law school funding. But when every other law school seems to be struggling, how in the world is SMU able to get jobs for students that don't really seem to exist? Like at all? Oh, that is simple. We believe that we put you in a position to somehow make a bunch of connections through various unnamed events, and those people will give you a job. Just look at another ranking, where SMU is number 21 in the U.S. by Business Insider for best law school to make connections and get a job. Awesome, so I'm practically guaranteed a job, but how much does that job pay? The median income is 85000 and the mean income is 100000 so you are going to be a rich, young attorney if you come to SMU. Wow, that sounds too good to be true. Do you have any other random statistics for me? Of course, that is all we use. We are number 22 for full-time, long-term, and bar passage required jobs. Now that you can finally talk to your faculty advisor, I want to talk to you just to freak you out right before your first ever law school finals to tell you about this exciting event called OCI. Now this is where all those big, high-paying law firms that we talked about six months ago come and they want to give you a job. But they really only want to talk to you if you're in the top 25%, so don't screw up your finals. And even then, they're only going to give you a job if you're in the top 10%. Now since we don't want to waste anybody's time, we still want you to participate, no matter where your grades end up, and apply to as many places as you can. Now this is also important because once we find out your grades, this determines whether or not we want to talk to you anymore because we're pretty much just going to ignore the bottom 75% of you guys. Any questions? Yeah, what if we aren't interested in a big law firm? What if we want to work somewhere like the DA's office? Ha, huh, good luck. You can't get a job at any of those places no matter what you do. What about the rest of the 75% of us? Oh, just go intern somewhere to get your public service hours out of the way since you have no hope of interning anywhere else. So how was your summer? My internship went well, but I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do because I don't think they're hiring. Well, that's a bummer. Let's have you look for some smaller firms. And how do I do that? Well, they don't really post that often, but you could try something like Craigslist or even Sears. Don't employers post on Simplicity? Yeah, but most of those are going to be for out of state. So if you want to leave Texas, you're set. If not, you probably need to be in the top third. But you're not. Well, thanks. So do you have a job lined up for after graduation? Well, I'm not on law review, and I'm not in the top 25%, so I don't know how I'm supposed to get a job. Oh yeah, well, thanks for your time and money at SMU. You can get out of my office now.